production. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to the show here. Remember, if you want to hit me up, you can hit me up on YouTube here. And uh, click on the little uh, green button if you'd like to donate to my cash app here. And uh, also to check out my website, christineproduction.websites.com. We get the latest dancehall, soca, trap beat, reggae beat, afro music, and my new old school gold edition is out. And soca licks. Also, if you guys want to learn how to mix pro dancehall in the box, pro afro beat in the box, and pro reggae in the box, you can get my course graph here, enroll now, 30 bucks, mixing soca. Pro soca, get your tracks ready for a Spotify here. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a mixing dancehall effects here. So I'm going to show how you would get some of the solid effects that uh, a lot of producers do, a lot of techniques to get your dancehall or any genre of beat on the next level here. So let's get down there. So, uh... Welcome back to the show, guys. I uh, want to shout out to all the fans here. Thank you guys for hitting me. I'm always following Pristine. Uh, Could have done it without you guys. But uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, mixing a pro uh, a dancehall, mixing dancehall effects here. And I'm going to share a couple of uh, techniques here how to get uh, your uh, dancehall effects or any genre, R&B, reggae. You can use these effects. They're very common effects you hear throughout uh, the music industry here. So let's get right down in. So I have a, a, a track here. Uh, Taken from my old school uh, gold edition drum kit here is the Madhouse here. Well, we're gonna talk about the effects here. So not not much if we're gonna we'll study rhythm here. But we're gonna talk about the effects here. So let's get right into it. So uh, the first technique here, uh, I'm gonna mute um, a couple of stuff here. Uh, let's see. Uh, the first technique here we're going to talk about is the uh, delay effect here. So I'm going to turn off the delay effect here. Let me turn off the Nadine Sutherland keyboard here. Let me mute a couple of the sounds here. Let's get to the first vocal here. We have vocal here. Now, in the typical uh, dance hall or uh, vocal effects here, you want to use a uh, uh, flanger and a little bit of delay, a little bit of distortion goes a long way here. Uh, you want to make sure. Uh, that um, you're giving it that modern edge, so it's it's good when you uh, when you use a modulation effect such as the overdrive, distortion, flanger, chorus, um, uh, doubling effects, even uh, delay. You know, uh, goes a long way here. So I have a bus here. I'm using the GTR here. This is the uh, dry uh, female vocal here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this effect on her vocals here. So let me go ahead and uh, send her vocals to that. I'm going to start off with the uh, delay here. So I have a delay here uh, and the stereo is all the way out here. So. 
it's going uh, left to right here, back and forth. And I'm gonna add a little bit of overdrive here. Now, if I crank up the drive here, I get a huge effect there. Uh, take off the delay. Let me go ahead. Turn off the... So the overdrive is like giving the vocal like a reverb sound without actually using a reverb here. Now, if you want to add a little bit of a compression, a little bit of gate to give it a little bit more expensiveness here. So the texture from the overdrive is actually giving uh, her uh, like a, a reverb. It sounds just like reverb. There's no reverb on it. And that's the first one there i can add a little bit of flange in here to get a little bit more stereo here check this out you hear the flanger moving with the texture of the vocal here it's giving a little bit more dimension here which is great for like edm music uh dancehall whatever genre i'm gonna back off on the drive here Notice I'm, I'm getting more of the flanging in the delay when I back off on the drive. If I crank up the drive here, I get a more flanger effect, side effect, like distortion effect. Let's bring the drive down to about, about half here. Um, let's go to the uh, second effect here. So we talked about the using the flanging here. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of a reverb reverse here. So you can do that. You can utilize that a uh, technique on any buster strap, a distortion plugin, maybe a decapitator, or uh, you know, a, a, a couple that with some delay and see what you get out of that. Now uh, let's get down to uh, the. A reverse reverb here so I'm gonna take a copy of the of the female vocal here take a copy of the female vocal I'm gonna bring it down here so let me go ahead and uh, okay that's the that's the uh, breeding female vocal okay let's go down here okay so I'm gonna mute that sound there. I'm gonna bring in a copy of the same vocal. Let's play it by itself. So that's uh, the dry vocal there. And this is the one that we did earlier here with the flanging effect here now uh, we're gonna use we're gonna do the reverse reverb technique here so how do we do that we go ahead and strap uh, this technique has been used in uh, even a lot of modern afro music and trap music uh, you hear this a lot uh, in dancehall as well so I'm gonna show you that technique how to get that vocal to pass uh, through and reverse in the reverb so we're actually embedding the, the reverb on the vocal and we're reversing the vocal so we get that dynamic rise. So I'm gonna show how exactly we do that. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna pull up a reverb here. Uh, here we have uh, the R verb from Waves here. And very uh, important detail to know when doing this kind of effect here. You wanna crank up the time. I turn on the reverb here. Let's hear a vocal. It sound like a back room, we don't want that. We want that big uh, effect here. So I'm gonna crank the time up to about, let's say about three. 
and see what we got. We want to get that big fade out. Let's crank it up a little bit more. Sort of vocal kind of sweeps and smooth now it's on a long tail here. So let's go about to about four here. I'm gonna push it up. Okay, that's more sound like it. So I'm strapping the reverb on a, on, on, on a vocal here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix down. I'm gonna mix down the vocal with the reverb on it. And you're gonna see why I, I did this technique here. So we're gonna we're gonna bounce the reverb in the vocal file here. So I'm gonna go um, mix down selection here, and we have I'm gonna call this a uh, reverb vocal. So if I play this here, let me bounce that again. I'm gonna I'm gonna undo. Make sure we have a tail here. Now we do have tail in the reverb. Cause we're actually hearing the the reverb fade off. So I'm going to drag out uh, the audio uh, wave here. So we capture all that uh, uh, and never end like uh, that distant tail on the reverb here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to play this here. Right about there. Now let's bounce that down. So the reverb don't cut off. Now I'm going to play the, the track that we bounced down. And even if I uh, go ahead and uh, zoom in here, there you can see that with the reverb tail there. So, okay, that's what we want. Now I'm gonna right click and reverse this audio file here. I'm gonna go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna play it back. There you go. Now we can take that and uh, combine that with uh, more effects. Maybe we can send that to the uh, the uh, the distortion chain that we had. Let's see how that sounds. It gives a cool effect. So let, let's see what that does in uh, uh, the rhythm here. I'm gonna bring back in the rhythm here. <laughs> So we get a cool transition here. Let's see what we got. Here we go. And then we have the other uh, vocal here. So what we just did, uh, we kind of get that reverse ghosting effect here by putting any reverb on the vocal track, and we bounce. The, uh, we make sure we set the reverb to a, a maximum size height, and we set the time or the tail. It's very important so the reverb fades off in the end. You don't want to cut it too short, as the effect, or else the effect won't work. And then we reverse the file. So let's do another one here. So we did the uh, reverse reverb here. Now what we're gonna do what you call a little bit of a, a sampling chop here, which I went, uh, already went ahead and did here. So what I went ahead and did, um, and these are typical effects you hear from time to time, but you can use these as a, like a, a foundation creating tool here. Uh, I'm gonna go here. I took a part of that vocal and I duplicated about three times and I put it in front of the uh, of the vocal here. So this vocal right here. Let me go ahead and uh, this right here. I made a copy of that three times. I'm gonna unmute those. Here, here's a copy here. I'm gonna mute that. Here's a copy. Now it's just what I went what I went ahead and did with that. Let me stretch it out. This is the same copy of the vocal chop, but I cut it short. The reason why I cut it short is gonna make that stutter effect a little bit more real. So I'm gonna add two more copies. I'm gonna turn off the delay effects here. And uh, I'm gonna enable these. I'm gonna play all three of them. I'm just moving around manual here. I just wanna balance it out here. 
And check this out, if I play those three, you get a little bit of stuttering there. I can, I can manually pull them apart. It doesn't matter, it's just the effect. Uh, let me go ahead and play that. I can even space them out a little bit more. And the important thing is, shorten the chop so the actual uh this uh length of the chop that you're making dupl duplicate shorten it then uh, give it a little more shortening than the original here and i'm gonna show you why let me zoom into the wave file here by chopping off the uh, the, the the rest of the vocal and shortening the sample see if i lengthen them let me go ahead and le uh, lengthen each of these sample here it's not going to sound as tight here i'm going to play it back here kind of just sounding like one um, hit but if I shorten each of them check this out I get a slight little tight sound like a real glitchy effect here I'm gonna put the uh, effects back on which is kind of give it like a like a little bit of uh, pulse pulsating effect there let's hear that in the track there And you can do that, you, you can pitch them up, pitch them down, and, and put them together and, and see what you got. So that's the stuttering uh, effect there, and um, uh, those are the main effects, guys. Uh, we have the reverse reverb, and then we have uh, this uh, guy right here. Yeah. What we can do with him, we can actually add a flanger to, uh, just to his vocals here. And you, you kind of get a little bit more distant, wide, with a little bit of harmonics on it. Yeah. Let's see how it sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he says, yeah, 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 it, it kind of pitches up, down, and modulate. Check this out. Let's play it back. So every time he's sitting here, the the, uh, the, the flanger is working in real time and moving the, the key pitching here, which gives that cool effect. Let's play around with the speed and see what we got here. Cool. Pull it down. I can, uh, by adjusting the speed, I can adjust the intensity of the effect. Let's put it all the way down. So automatically, when he hits, when he says more than one, yeah, it, it pitches up and down. Now, if we want another effect, if we want to get that telephone effect there, we can uh, pull up a multi-band uh, compressor here. We can isolate the, the, the vocal here. Let's pick, let's pick the middle here. Uh, let's go ahead to about, I'm gonna shorten this up. See if I can lock this in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me use a higher bandwidth here. Let's turn off the flanger here. Now we're going to add a little bit of distortion here. Let's push it up. Let's see how this sounds in the track.
then we're gonna turn on the uh, uh, the multi band here, and we get that telephone. And uh, we can go crazy with that, and also put that on the return effects chain here of the GTR here. So I'm gonna put up an EQ there. I'm gonna take off a low and just boost about the mid range here to get that telephone sound. So listen to the, uh, the delay here. Here we go. So on the return of just the delay, you're getting a telephone just on the telephone effect just on the delay here. Listen to that. So it, it takes that vocal to the back of the room. Uh, and if I turn that off, you're just gonna get that uh, distorted sound if that's what you're going for. Let's play it back. You hear that delay a little bit more full, but you want that telephone effect, take off the bottom end. So, I'm gonna stop there guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and uh, let me know if you want me to talk about more uh, techniques. And uh, this has been a mixing pro effects, uh, pro dance all effects here. So I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one.